fish in there. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm ready to start. All right, guys, so here's the tea. I'm going right now. I'm not going right now because there's a lady behind my car <laughs> and another car turning in here. Uh, I'm going right now to pitch a little fit. Um, I don't know if this will be in my wedding video or these are looking extra buggy, aren't they? Maybe these are better for today. Okay, now I actually need to pay attention to driving and what I'm trying to tell you guys because it's important in my life and that's what this is all about. Uh, I'm just leaving work because I'm going to go to the place where I bought my wedding dress and the sun flares, man. Is that still... Can you tell that I'm irritated? <laughs> um, we're just gonna have to deal with the sun flare for now because I, I need to get this off my chest. This is what that, that's what this whole channel's for. Um, I had an incredibly annoying experience buying my wedding dress. Um, it was fun, like my mom made it fun, just me and her went the more people, the more anxious I get. Uh, I didn't want the stress of like everybody else's opinion. Highly recommend that. Your first time going dress shopping, don't bring a bunch of people because the more people, the more opinions and the harder it's gonna be for you to decipher, do you actually like it or do they like it? Um, so yeah, I just brought my mom. Me and my mom are very, very similar people. So similar that it's scary. Uh, so I knew that I could trust her opinion I knew that she wouldn't try to sway me in one direction or the other, that she would she would let me make my decisions on what I thought looked good and listen to how I was feeling. So we went to a place local here where I'm from. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to put her name out there quite yet, but it was an awful experience. Um, the dresses and what she had to offer. I'm in a small town, so we only have two bridal shops, and this is the only one where I could actually get a dress that would be new. The other shop is more like a consignment shop, which I was totally fine with. In fact, that's what I wanted to do, because I'm not big on spending, you know, a thousand dollars on something I'm gonna wear once. I might as well, you know, just get something second hand. I'm not opposed to that at all. Uh, however, I went into this shop and I found a dress that I love and it's gorgeous and I can't wait to show you guys because it's beautiful. It's, it's a little bit different than the, the typical wedding dress. It, it's fantastic. Now, the whole experience of the fitting in general, like picking the dress, what, that, that's a whole nother rampage that I can go on, but it's, she was... And I wanna like tread lightly because I don't want anybody to be offended by this or uh, verbiage or terms that I use. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm at my wit's end. And this lady is off of her rocker. The entire time that I was trying on dresses and trying to have discussions with my mother about, oh, I like this one or I like this or that, or oh, you know, doing that, looking in the mirror, the typical wedding dress try on appointment, she was talking, not letting me talk. She's talking about her and her medical issues and um, court problems that she's going through. And I mean, it was wild. I mean, it was, it was bad. It was so bad that we got home and I couldn't even explain to Matt like how, how insane it was and how crazy it was dealing with a woman like this. Like I couldn't put it into words and I clearly can't now. It's a person and an experience and a personality that you just have to meet. I don't recommend doing that though because it was unbearable. Like I've said a million times, I'll get to the point. So, I'm clearly a bad storyteller, especially when I'm flustered and just pissed. So I went to get my dress, like, I don't remember the exact date, but let's say about June 
26th or something like that, that very last couple of days of June. I go and pick up my dress and it's fine. It needs a couple of alterations, but we knew that. We knew the buttons would have to be added. Um, we knew, you know, that the length might need to be adjusted. But I said, well, when I picked it up, well, where is the, uh, the skirt that goes underneath it? Oh, I haven't ordered that yet. do you mean you haven't ordered that yet <laughs> oh okay uh well let's get on that where are the buttons oh yeah those um I forgot to order those with the original so don't worry though I'm covering the cost of the speedy shipping fuck yeah you are we're a month away from my wedding and the one thing that I wanted from this whole fucking dress was the buttons and you didn't get them okay Perfect, perfect, thanks lady. So the, the liner for the bust, that's also missing. That also was not ordered at the time of the dress. So I said, <laughs> I mean, I was livid when it came time to leave with my, my dress. And once again, she wasn't listening to me. I kept saying, okay, well, I'm not comfortable about this, this part. Is this gonna be different? Well, people won't be looking at that. Well, people won't be looking at that. Like, what don't you get? about the fact that I'm not comfortable. I don't care what everybody else is going to see or thinks or that's, that's not my concern. If I don't feel good and confident in this, then I, I don't want to wear it. That's, it's about me and how I feel in this dress. So I don't care. I don't care what you're trying to say. And she just wasn't listening. She just like talks in circles to try to cover her own ass. So then she tells me, I'll order them. They'll be here at the end of next week at the latest. Okay, so right now it's Monday. That at the latest should have been last Friday. So I got no call Friday, no call Saturday, no call Sunday. Here I am on Monday and I'm about to go in there and raise hell. Like she better pray. She better pray <laughs> that these parts are here. And I know this sounds like really dramatic, but the alterations take a while. You don't take a gown like that with all the intricate detailing that's on it and expect that it's going to be altered in a day. I mean, the, these, the seamstress needs some time and the seamstress that I'm going to, cause it's not the one that she recommended. If she's that insane, I sure as hell am not going to go to someone that she does business with. Um, so I'm going to my own and she's great. She's done alterations for me forever and she's awesome. But she specifically has a sign in there which has always been one of my favorite life quotes and it is, your poor planning is not my emergency. So <laughs> that tells you that, you know, if my stuff isn't, if it's not ready um, and I try to bring that in there at the very last minute or whatever and she can't do it, then I'm kind of screwed. We're just running out of time. I mean, I should have had my dress to the seamstress two months in advance. That's what I was originally told. And now here I am. And I was like, well, that's fine because I'm getting in in June. The wedding isn't until August. Well, she's over a month late on getting me my dress. Um, a month and a week late on getting me all the, the other parts. I'm just like, oh, I'm so irritated. And I am so sorry for this tangent that I've went on. This is like my only Bridezilla moment. I've actually been super chill. I almost said hella. Blech. I've been super chill about literally everything, but this dress and this woman, this would not have been an issue if it wasn't for this woman has, mm, she's ruined it, man. And now I'm here and I might just record the underside of my chin because I want this conversation recorded and maybe I won't put it in the video because I really don't want to throw her like under the bus or you know anything like that but I will be writing not great reviews and we'll see how this goes they are closed through the holiday and we didn't get it on Friday so the best I can do is give you a call on Thursday okay I'm really really upset about this okay. like I was trying to be yeah so obviously I'm your client first though and like now I'm okay so do you have your receipt I can just refer you for the whole skirt so now I'm out of having a skirt and the button there's just nothing I can do about it today so <clears throat> now I have you down for the September 5th. The buttons we did have coming. September 5th, my wedding's August. I mean August 5th, I'm sorry, August 5th, 4th. Okay. 
So, yeah, and the buttons, if those come last minute, whatever, but I can't do right. any other alterations right. until I have that skirt. Right, correct. And she's, she's gone. Be here last week. He's gone. At latest. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. Well, so I'll I can either do one of two things today. I can either no, wait to Thursday and call him, or I can well, refund you. But those, that's, <laughs> that's my limitations. When he's gone in Monday through Wednesday this week, which a lot of the companies are, I can't even contact him to find out. What well, was the order placed be. last week? Because I ordered that. Yes. Not last week, but the yes. week before. Yes. So, yeah, because you didn't order it originally. So, like, now we're a month and a week past when you said I would have everything. So, you get like where that's like a stress for me, where that's I a can problem. I completely understand. But my hands are tied today, so I have two choices. I can either refund or I can or I can call them on, again on Thursday or again. Yeah, I want to call on Thursday. Okay. Like from you to tell me what's happening because this just isn't. Understandable. Okay. Understandable. given myself a couple of minutes to calm down because I actually got so pissed and panicked and frustrated that I cried. Um, this has been miserable and I can wholeheartedly say that this woman should not run a business. And in fact, there were people in there and there was a girl in there trying on dresses. All the women in her family were clearly there watching her, probably about six of them. And, uh, I threw a bit of a fit and fell in it. I am so screwed now that I have to make an emergency run all the way down to Tigard, which for some context, that's about an hour and a half drive without traffic, but it, now it's gonna be in rush hour traffic uh, to buy a slip that, like the skirt thing that will hopefully be, hopefully be the right kind. I don't know. So I got to rush home, change. Then I got to rush back to, I've kept my dress at my office that I work at because I don't, that's the, a safe place and somewhere where I know Matt can't sneak a look. Um, so I got to rush home, rush there to get the dress and then essentially buy something that I've already bought over again. And in case you guys don't know or have reference, this shit isn't cheap. I don't know what to do. I'm so upset and frustrated. And now I get to drive all down there and do all of this stuff myself, like all the dress stuff and everything you're supposed to do with your mom and your friends, and it's supposed to be like this fun, great experience. And it's not, I've been robbed of that and Rightfully so, I think. So, sorry if the the dress experience <laughs> uh, bit of the video is what what you guys were looking forward to or thought was going to be so great. Uh, I'm just telling you how it is and how it's been for me, and that has been a big lump of garbage. Let's start Woo. walking Woo.